What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, if you thought the last moon video was good, wait until you see this one. This is just another video that's going to show how they are literally hiding things in plain sight and that the astronauts were not there for just rock samples. They're there for much, much more. And my hopes is that everybody will start to get an eye for this stuff and be able to do this themselves. All right, let's jump right into this. All right, so I was watching a video. Every now and then I watch other people's videos. Just, so I stumbled on uh, Alien Hunter's video. And, of course, he's got out of this out of this world driving location, NASA image, 1080p, full HD. And as I'm looking at that, I'm saying, huh, interesting. So I asked him right out. I said, hey, do you have the, the link to this pan? And so then he puts on there. He gives me the link. But while I'm waiting for this link, I already find this thing. And it's on, and you can see it up here. It's on uh, astrology.usgs. Uh, dot gov, right? Um, anyway, so I put on the, I said, I just found it a few, few minutes ago, blah, 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 blah. Uh, thanks for the link. Uh, I'm going to give you a mention in my video because while I was watching this, it just gave me this, this is like the perfect picture to show how they're literally hiding something. And guys, when you see the enhancement, it's going to blow your mind. Okay. So first of all, I went to this here and this is the Apollo 17 panorama. By the way, guys, if you get a chance, Take a look at this guy's uh, page or this, his channel because you're going to love this. If you're into the moon, this is like the perfect channel to be on, okay? Uh, he's got all kinds of stuff in here, all different kinds of videos, anything to do with the moon and what looks like UFOs, so on and so forth. So check the channel out. I think you'll like it a lot. Um, I was going through a couple of his videos and I did like them. Um, okay, so Apollo 17 panorama, and you can see it right here. Now, you can download either or. Now, you got a sample, which is, says, you know, 1,024 uh, uh, pixels wide. And the other one here, the original JPEG, is at 534 kilobytes. I'm going, hmm, it's not very big at all. This is what you get on the first one, which is the sampler. And this one here is the actual larger widescreen type thing. Now, let me show you guys something. Remember I always told you that just because you have a low-res picture doesn't mean you can't find anomalies in it. Now, you can't take them too serious, meaning... Um, sometimes these things are so blurred or it's just so pixelated that you really can't make out what it really is, okay? But you don't need to. I'm going to show you why. Once you zoom into this particular photo, now you can see it. Now, look on the left here. You can see this rock, right? And you can see right here, eh, it still looks like a rock, right? It's just more pixelated, a little more grainy. Okay. This is where it gets bizarre. Let's go to the middle of this, this uh, particular photo. And now... When you look at this picture, it looks like there's nothing there. But have a look at this. I'm hoping people will start to train their eyes to this. Because this is crazy. Look at this item right here. It has height to it. Okay? It's got height. And it's got width to it. Now, it is distorted. It is crap. But sometimes you find more imperfections this way. And you can actually see where they've actually doctored up or tried to obfuscate certain things, right? Now, this particular thing has something sticking out of it. And I'm going to show you that right now because there's something, there's another detail and it's going to cooperate exactly what this may be, right? All right. So that one's the blurry one. We don't want to really look at that. Not really as much to see. This one here, a lot better, right? Now, this particular area, I'm going to zoom right into it. This is what we want to see because this is cool. We drop down. Well, we want to go way over. I don't know why I'm still over there, but let's go way over here. Okay. So, right here, you can see there's something laying here. And you might say, eh, I'm really not seeing it too much. But you will. Um, this is pretty cool. Let me just back out just a little bit. And then go back in. Because I actually had zoomed in. And, of course, I clicked on the plus, which zooms in even more, right? Um, but there's many more things in front of, and this is Mr. CERN, um, the astronaut. And he's the one that's taken the... Uh, Kind of like taking a walk around from the uh, moon buggy. But these guys ain't looking at rocks, guys. I'm going to show you this right now. You can see something's right there. How do I know that? Well, train your eyes. Like I said, look at this little white specks right here, 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 all the way over to here. And you're going to say, what the heck? I'm not seeing anything. You will. Watch this. Let's jump in because I want to show you both of these real quick. Here's that one I told you is kind of like, uh, it's kind of really kind of crappy, right? But look, all of a sudden, you can see something right here, like I said earlier. Okay? Now, it is a piece of garbage photo, but that's okay. I'm not, we're not going to use this photo to do the enhancement. All, all I'm trying to say is, you can see how there's just like, it's one thing to see, you know, pixelations and compression marks. I don't care about those. What I care about is the idea, because even though this whole area is pixelated, look at the area inside this circled area. It has something raised up in there, but gets even better. 
because even on this side, there's other things. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but faintly, right here, look at this, square. Now, I don't know whether these are objects that have been ghosted out. There's another one right here. I don't know if you can see that, but if you're on your smaller t phones or tablets, sometimes the, the definition on things are really good, and you can see these things. Another line going across, going like this. There's something else going. It looks like there's two lines here. I'm trying to, well, I mean, not that way, but anyway, it goes like this, over, and then another one like this. This, this line right here is a false line right here. This is false. This crater wall, that's false. That's garbage. Okay, so now I did the enhancement on this just to, just to show you a little bit more. Check this stuff out, guys. There's something laying right here. Now, there's something that, like I said, that does stick out, and I'm going to show you that because it's cool um, as far as I'm concerned. Now, let's get into the much better quality photo so we can see this and not look at blurry garbage. Okay, now, there's something. I don't know if you guys can see this. Train your eyes. Don't look at the colors or just the actual um, the texture. You want to look at lines. You want to look at, I mean, textures is one thing, but you can see the difference in manipulation and how they try to take certain things out. But there's something laying right here. I mean, to be honest with you, all of this is something. These, even these hills back here, no way. These are not just simple hills or lunar buttes or call them what you will. But right here, now there's something I believe, to be honest with you, if you go back a little bit, right here the whole thing is something right here so let's get into that whoa suddenly i'm looking at this thing and i'm going what the hell you can see where they went over this thing see with all this dot crap right here all this right here they tried to just scribble it out but when you use a dodge tool it's going to find any light you know uh, signature in a photo and try to drag it through it or at least make it whiter than it is right so i'm looking at this thing and I'm going, oh my god check this out what are you kidding me and check this out this whole thing sitting right here. Whatever this thing is, I don't know what this is here. But there's something laying right there. It looks like some kind of weird kind of missile shape type thing. But look in the back here. Looks like some weird kind of, almost like a front of a craft or something like that. It looks like it's got rectangular openings. I don't know if you can see that. But it has what looks like a pipe thing sticking out right here. And something that hasn't been blocked out looks pretty smooth right there. I don't think these, guys, I think these are structures, crafts, structures, whatever it may be. Either way, it's not natural, no matter what it is. So now let's get into this a little deeper. So then I just really went to town on this thing to try to get out the rest of the crap that's all over this thing and check that out. You can see what looks like it has a leg or connection to something else on there. Now let's go back because I want you guys to see this. It is in the photo right there. Okay, this is also what I want you guys to see. Right here, this so-called mountain... Remember, I was showing you this piece, this other bigger piece here. But I'm not so sure what that is, but check this out. Where are these lines coming from and this so-called mountain? And there's other things here, too. See this? Almost looks like squares or rectangular openings. I'm not sure what the make of that is, but they're there. They are there. Check this out. Whoop. Let me do it this way. I'm sorry. I'm just going to go back and forth a little bit. You can see them right here. I can see them right there without doing anything to this. Look at this. Another bigger one here. Well, actually should have been further over. But anyway, you guys will get the idea in a second. But just going back and forth, you can see them. They're very light, but they are there nonetheless. Okay. And again, what is the deal with this? Yeah, don't look like a mountainside to me. But anyway, let's move on. And like I said, I brought this out and I said, whoa, hold on a minute. Check this out. What is that, guys? Whatever this thing is, it's part of this whole thing. Not sure what to make of it. But look where Mr. CERN is. Our astronaut. Look at the size of whatever this thing is. Keep in mind, he's got to walk all the way down here to this thing. So this thing's pretty good size, right? And again, we've got these other objects. Now check this out. This is like a perfect example of how they're BSing the people. Check this out. Look at this so-called part of this mountain, but you can see right here, it's all kind of jagged. They made it. They just painted over this thing. There's actually a smooth structure right here. Watch this. See it? There's something sitting right here, and it has what looks like a black circle, whiter in inside circle, 
and it has some kind of other features right here. You can see it looks looks kind of oval, and of course it fades off underneath this garbage. Either way, that is not real, man. That's not a real mountain. They put something over it to hide and disguise this thing. But if you look at these items here, there's one, two, three. There's something sitting right here, and I think it's part of much something much bigger because there's something right here. You can see that. It's got all these weird pieces right here, pods right there. Okay. And it's got this one here that's actually the main anomaly itself in the photo. Now, I said I had like a little small feature that may corroborate what I'm trying to show in this. Now, you can actually see this item right here. Like I said, I'm just going to outline it. It goes like this, has this what looks like a support or some kind of leg, and goes like that there. Of course, this thing keeps going further on, but there's so much of this garbage, it's hard to pull out. Okay? So, now how about this? It has a shadow. Look at this. And, of course, you get the item right here. What? Check that out. It's got its own shadow. I'm going to enhance the shadow right here, and you can see what I'm talking about. See it? It actually has a shadow. Now, you say, well, how do you know this is a shadow? Well, let's look at these supposed rocks, which has a perfect black circle on it, but let's call it a rock anyway. This rock goes down like this. You can see where it goes down, and it has this, this thing here. almost looks like it goes into a triangular shape right there. Now, the sun's coming down this way, and guess what? Look at the shadow. Let's say this thing goes like this. Look at the shadow that it's casting. Okay? There's another rock over here to the left of it. And you can see where it goes down like this. And you can see it's much smaller rock. I'm a supposed rock. But yet it's got a shadow. Again, shadows are going this way. Now look at the size of the shadows. Look at the, the like it's at the 3, 4 o'clock position on a, on a clock. And look at this. Look at the way this thing, it stops here. And it's casting its shadow here. Same exact kind of angle these are. This is what's telling me this thing is actually in there. It's actually in the photo, and this, 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 I don't know what it is. To me, it looks like some kind of structure. Could be anything. I think this guy, this astronaut's looking at all kinds of stuff in this video. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, we're looking at this kind of stuff in the video. But I think this astronaut's looking at so much more than just clearly rocks. This is not rocks at all. And this is absolute proof, as far as I'm concerned, that they're looking at something much more uh, intelligently made than simple natural rocks, right? Of course, you guys can tell me what you think is going on. I see what looks like structures, structures, crafts, or anything else that's over here. I think, like I said, guys, in the last video, I believe that, you know, these may have been here for thousands of years. How do we know? We just basically learned how to crawl. Now we're starting to walk as far as our technology. So these things could have been there for thousands of years. We would have been none the wiser. But one guy happened to look through a telescope one day and said, oh, my God. What is that stuff on the surface of the lunar surface? What is going on over there? Get up there now. Let's go check it out. If that's there, they're going to, wait a minute, this doesn't belong there. Just think about the first guy who might have looked through a telescope and said, wow, guys, did you see this? Look through this eyepiece. And they look through it and they go, oh, my God. And I'm not talking about a 14-inch or, or something you and I could buy out of the store. I'm talking about these huge observatory uh, telescopes. Oh, my God. Can you imagine what they see on the surface? This is the reason why they're there. They're really here for this. They, the, the, the rocks are nothing more than a cover story just to, 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 to you know, to, to snow job the people, right? Uh, but, I mean, you guys tell me what you think. Now, has any of you guys done these photos and found similar things? Let me know. I'd like to check them out as well. And like I said, look at the actual angle. It's like the, the sun's going just like this. Well, I didn't want to do it that way. I wanted to kind of go like this. And it's kind of like perfect angle. Look at this. Look at the angles. This is the top of this rock. It's like almost perfect angles coming down from the tip of that rock down to the tip of that shadow. And I'll be done from this point here going right to there. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it too much longer. I wanted to show you this because I was going to just do a, uh, a Mars video, but I saw this one here. Like I said, Alien Hunter had this on his video. I'm going, oh, you know what? I've seen this pan before, but i never seen or this thing never stood out to me. Anyway, guys, if you think they're only up there for the rocks, just for looking at simple rocks, you're out of your mind. There's no way in a million years these guys are up there for a reason. And they didn't just go up there for one Apollo mission. There was many, right? Why would you keep going up there for just different rocks? Think about that. Millions of dollars. Uh, the astronauts are risking their lives to go up there just to look for rocks. Really? You guys give me your take. Let me know what you think is going on. Because 
I think there's much more going on than meets the eye. I've always said that. And the same thing applies with the Martian photos, right? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, the Martian video will be coming up. And I've got others coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, have yourself a good holiday coming up. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.